Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady. I'm here with a card today using some new stamp sets that are available in the 2017-2018 Stampin' Up! catalog. Happy birthday, gorgeous. I really like this stamp set because of all the fun uh, sentiments and sayings. I am also using the Daisy Delight with the coordinating punch. And if you're watching this right now, this punch will, is on back order right now, but will become available starting June 26th or around that date. And then I'm also using the Burlap Background Stamp. Now, Stampin' Up! in this catalog came out with a bunch of really fun background stamps. I haven't used background stamps very much for a while, but I'm really excited about the new ones that they brought out, and I can't wait to start using them. I'm also using the Ribbon Border Punch. One, another thing that you're going to see me use is the new sequins. And the sequins I love because they've introduced... Uh, They've introduced some really neat colors. They have the white right in front of that black, the white iridescent, and they also have copper. And the old sequin set, let's see if I can grab a copper. I might not be able to. There we go. And the old sequin set had one size. This has three sizes, and you will see me use all three sizes. This is the smaller one here in today's card. Okay, so to start this card off, I am going to use a Knight of Navy background. So this is a half a sheet of Knight of Navy, five and a half by eight and a half, cut in half, scored at four and a quarter inches. And be sure to go to my website, mystamplady.com, to get all of the dimensions and printable directions for this card. And then I have some Daffodil Delight. Um, this is So Saffron. No, I'm sorry, not So Saffron. This is Sahara Sand. Okay, so first of all, with that Sahara Sand, I'm going to bring in my background stamp, and this is the burlap one. I've got it mounted onto a large uh, acrylic pad. I prefer the unmounted stamps or the clear mount stamps and or the photopolymer. If you, if you purchase those stamps, you only you do not need multiple blocks. And some people don't like them, and they are still available in the wood blocks. Now I need to kind of adjust the way I'm stamping here so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm catching with crumb cake. This is inked up and catching the top of this Sahara sand. And I've purposely kind of done it off-center like that. And I should hopefully, yes, I have a little blank area around the edge. And I did that on purpose. So that's with the crumb cake. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. It's not going to take long. But while it is drying, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my daisy. Now this is a photopolymer set. And sometimes people find with a photopolymer set, it stamps a bit better with a cushion. So I have put a stamp and pierce pad underneath there just to give myself a little cushion. I am stamping this with Daffodil Delight and I would like two of these. So I'm stamping those and then I am going to punch those out. And let's see if I stamp them in the right direction. I'm really good at not doing that. And I often need, like I do now, I, I have to learn and pay attention. If you just clip that edge off, there we go. Then it's easier to line it up. Okay, and so I've stamped two of these because I'm going to layer them. And there we go, There's one. And I'm gonna probably have to cut this off again just to get that other one because of the way I stamped it. If you pay attention to the direction, it's not hard to line up, but if you sometimes if you just don't get it right, your cardstock is a little too big to fit into the punch but it is easy to line up once you've stamped it so I have two of those and I'm done punching that now I'm going to take in a stamp and sponge and the stamp and sponges come well this one I happen to have right here this is a quarter of one and I've just cut a little sliver of the sponge and I'm just going to like that I'm going to add some daffodil delight to the center here of this daisy and it, I had first of all tried to stamp it onto a um, so saffron cardstock, and I just didn't like it. I liked the white coming through, even though I've added quite a bit of, of yellow ink to the center. I still liked that white coming through. 
Okay, so with my fast fuse, I am going to mount that together and just offset those. Let's see, we'll just put those offset like that. And in the center with, uh, with let's see, early espresso, and stamp the center of that right in the center there. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside so I have those done. With this uh, strip of Whisper White cardstock, I have, and this is from that Happy Birthday Beautiful set, it's, it's your day. This is kind of a fun, all-purpose little sentiment that you can use, and I'm stamping it in Night of Navy, just along the bottom of this right edge. There we go. And I can set that aside. Now I'm going to stamp a leaf. This is a two-stamp stamping set, um, cut image, so I have a solid image and then I have the details. But I'm stamping it off onto my scrap paper and then stamping it onto my white. And I will ink up the details and I'm not going to stamp those off. And let's see how good I can do this on camera because it's always a little bit trickier, but I got it pretty well. And so then I just stamped that. There is no die for this one, so I will have to cut that out. And I also want two leaves, so I'll stamp another one. Okay, so I've stamped another one and I've cut that out. And now I have a strip of Night of Navy. And this is where that ribbon border punch comes in. I'm going to take that little spongy Stampin' Spears pad out from underneath because it's going to be a little easier to punch this without it. Okay, so I'm punching that, and there's my design. And then what I do is I move it over, and I'm going to line up what I've already punched with what's here, the little picture there, and you get a continuous punch. So let's line that up. There we go. And punch. And let's see, I need that to be, oh, I'll do one more. It's just not quite wide enough. So lining up that picture, oops. Now, I have that punched out and you could use either end or either edge. You can either use this more detailed edge with the deeper or kind of the more scallop. I'm going to use the more scalloped edge. I pulled in a piece of um, white paper just so you can see what I'm doing. It's a little hard to see on the black. And along this bottom edge I will put some adhesive and then I'm using the scalloped edge so I'm just going to line that up just like that so that scallop is peeking out underneath and then I will trim off I will trim off those edges. There we go. And there's my piece for that. Okay, so now I have a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. It's just cut one eighth inch larger than my Sahara Sand. And I'm going to just mount this right onto that. There we go. And this will just go over about, you know, just in the bottom third here. And I lined it up with the Sahara Sand edges right there. Okay, so this will just be put onto my Knight of Navy card base. There we go. Okay, so now let's put your date the little daisy in there. There actually is kind of a little flatter edge of the daisy. Yeah, I want to use Stampin' Dimensional, or sorry, uh, I'm using mini glue dots to place that down. And then I just put the mini glue dots in the center so that I can kind of lift up those petals. They don't have to be flat on there. I've pulled out three of the silver sequins and with the fine tip glue I'm going to just put a little, I put a little spot of the fine tip glue and then I'll just set that onto that little spot of 
glue. And then the last one, let's see if I can get that on there. A little bit smaller. I'm going to pull my tweezer in here. There we go. And set that in there. And I'm going to straighten that out a little bit. And we'll let that dry. Now one thing I did is I did add a um, bit of the fine tip glue to the center just to give a little gloss to the center of my flower. Now depending on how how much glue you put on there it will um, dry more quickly or less quickly and also how um, humid it is where you are. It's, it's kind of dry here right now so I'm hoping that will dry fairly quickly and the thinner you put a coat on the more quickly it will dry. So now I have my two leaves and I put a mini glue dot on the back of this one. And I'm just going to position that in there and let's put another mini glue dot on there and we'll just put that in there. And there are my leaves. Now I need to let this dry for some time here and I'm, I'm hoping you can see the little shininess and once it dries it will still be shiny once it's dried but it will get a little more attention to the center of that. Okay, so since the inside of my card is the Knight of Navy, it's a little bit dark and hard to see. So I will take a piece of four by five and a quarter inch cardstock and I'm going to stamp a little bit on the inside of this. I'm just going to stamp along this left end edge here. So just doing an old olive stem and I'm using this flower and we'll just put that right up there and this will just be an inside image that will go along with my front and then I can place this on the inside. So let's just put some adhesive here so there's my card front with a little bit of stamping surface on the inside. If you have any questions about what I've done, don't hesitate to contact me, Chris, at MyStampLady.com. All of the supplies are in my online store at ShopWithMyStampLady.com. And you can find the printable directions on my blog at MyStampLady.com. Thanks for watching.